What's going on viewers and subscribers? If you are new to the channel, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So in this video we are going to talk about the, you know, the big controversy, Tory Lanez, Meg Thee Stallion and all the drama that has been spewing up over social media. Well, initially we know Meg came out and said Tory Lanez shot her in the foot. Well, after months and of not of keeping quiet, Tory Lanez finally came out and defended himself last night live. And I'm going to share a few clippings, give you my, talk, my take on the whole matter. But first, I'm going to play a clip from Tory Lanez's bodyguard Everybody first. Everybody was in the car, then Tory walked in. They all drunk already. Mind you. I'm outside. My weapon is in the car. Tory and Meg get the arguing. Kylie's outside at the pool still. Tory and uh, the girl in the car start arguing. Meg walk out because she find out. Such and such, Tory been messing with both of the women in the car. You know how that go already. Tory got in trouble. Meg hops out the car. Tory and the girl fighting over the gun. Excuse me. Tory and the girl fighting over the gun. The gun accidentally goes off. Cause Tory the gun. He's trying to shoot Megan. The gun accidentally goes off in the midst of them fighting for it. And the girl shoots, and the bullet accidentally gets near Megan. That's why it didn't hit no tendon, because it grazed. When it's just a regular time, for y'all don't, who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on, but y'all didn't know what was going on. She went live on my birthday with all her jewelry on, da 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 And then she says, yo, you know, um, and the thing about the whole jewelry thing is, is like, she, my bad, she knew that it wasn't a situation where um, like she knew she had to do certain sympathetic things, I, I guess, to push the narrative. And I don't know who told her to do certain things like that. And I'm not the one who's trying to like ever point the finger at anybody. But when it really comes down to it, it's like you went on live on your birthday and then you said on my birthday and then you said I got shot in my foot and it didn't hit no bones or tendons. So everybody's looking at this. And again, the Internet is a sick place. This is a place where people don't give a fuck about you. They, they do what they do. They antagonize and they do what they do. Um, you go in and you see you get shot in your foot. No bones of tendons. The internet goes into an uprage because some people are like, hold on. How you not get shot? How you get shot in your foot and it don't hit no bones or tendons? Like, whoever is watching this, like, if you need to go on Google and look at a foot anatomy of bones and skeletons and tendons, you realize there's like 30 bones in your feet and like 100 tendons, some crazy number like that, right? So... She now gets to this place where the people are like, hold on, and, and again, the internet is sick. The internet starts coming at her and saying, yo, show your feet, because we're seeing you at DJ Khaled's house and you're on your tippy toes, and then we're seeing that you're, uh, you know, that you're, 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 you're here and here, and they're antagonizing her. They're, they're, they're brutally coming for her and not giving her, I guess, what it is that she needed. But it gets to this point where now um, she posts a picture of a foot. And she poses this picture of her foot. There's no exit wound. There's, 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 there's a lot of, of inconsistencies in the story. And she says under the post, you see, I got shot in the back of my foot because when I was walking away from the car, she says I was, she puts this in capital letters. She says, I was walking away from the car and I got shot in the back of my foot. She doesn't ever show the other foot that she claims she got shot in. And I'm not trying to, again, I hate that this is coming off like I'm trying to come for her and whatever cases, but this is what I'm having to endure and watch when I'm knowing certain facts. So it gets to, um, you know, it gets to this place where I'm just like, bro, like this is not me and I, I don't deserve this. Like I don't, to be, I don't deserve to have to go through this. Like I never have been somebody who's had domestic cases. I've never hit no woman. I've never had abusive cases with no woman. You can't pull those type of facts up on me. I don't have those. So it's like, I just didn't understand why I'm going through this. So now it gets to this point where she posts this picture of her foot and everyone's seeing certain things and everyone's, um, you know, saying certain things about um, her foot. And some people think it's real. Some people don't think it's real. And it gets to this place where some people are just not believing. So she posts the picture. There's no bullet tray. 
where did, where are they taking out the bullets for the for the for the pan? Like if this is what's going on. Like where are they taking out the bullets for the pan? I don't understand. Like where's the surgical? You're not in a surgical room. And anybody who knows, I mean, this is like it clearly had to be the first day that you've taken this picture. So if this is the first day that you've taken this picture, it's like where's the where's where's all the evidence? Where why are you not in a surgical room? First of all, you're not even allowed to take pictures in a surgical procedure. That is against the law. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. So. It gets to this point now where it's like, you know, um, she says, I was shot from behind. And, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, and I was walking away. And she puts that, and then she deletes the post after. But that contradicts with the first post. Because you said somebody came out to hit you with malicious harm and danger, to put you in harm and all this danger and all this stuff. How can you identify who's shooting at you if you're facing the other way? How can you I, I even identify criminal or malicious intent if you're not seeing what's going on behind you? It doesn't even make sense. And so it's like, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, yo, this, this, this is not right. Like, and I, 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 I do see when people are getting at her and there's times when I'm like, damn, like, do I help her or do I say, speak up and say, yo, don't talk about her, whatever the cases are. But if I do that, then it's like, I'm coming off like I'm guilty. And then if I say something about uh, having remorse, like I would like to, or saying something about certain things, it's like, I come off like I'm guilty of something that I didn't do. So I had to be quiet on certain places. Now, I need y'all to really take this in and, and understand like how this works at this point when all this starts happening la times okay this is a this is this is put this is put in public information la times puts out an article and in the article they say um you know th this is the initial uh report two sources close to the investigation say that she had she got cut by glass and she said that she got cut by glass so then it's like People see that, okay, hold on, she's saying, they're saying on the initial police report with Officer Santiago, whatever his name is, you can go look this up. This is on LA Times. That's when it gets to this point where it says, okay, yo, um, um, there's, they reported no gunfire wound in her foot. They just reported a woman with a foot injury. So, so you got to understand, like, this is what's in their initial police report. Fuck all the Instagram, fuck the other shit. This is just what's in the police report. So you gotta understand, like, I'm getting to a point where I'm like, wow, that's, I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, like, at the end of the day, like, maybe some people might see this, maybe some people might not. It gets to academics, it gets to, um, it gets to, um, it gets to um, academics, it gets to Hollywood Unlocked, it gets to certain, certain places, right? And she comes out with this tweet that says, keep talking and I'm gonna stop sparing you. It's like my love. I have not been on the internet for three months. I have not been on the internet for three months. And then 30 minutes later, she just goes on live. And it's like, it's like me telling you, yo, keep talking, my nigga, and I'm gonna slap you. And then I just slap you. It's like, you didn't do anything for me to slap you, I just slapped you. So it's like, who was talking to, who are you saying to keep talking to? I don't understand. Whatever, it gets past this point, and gets past this point, and it gets to a place where now, she says, I'm gonna stop sparing you, whatever the case she gets on live. Now, because it got on academics that there was no gunfire wound on the initial report, everyone starts going to her page. Again, she starts reacting to certain things. Now, I'm gonna say one thing. I'm not getting mad at her or whatever it is because I understand that she is dealing with a lot. Like, when it comes down to, you gotta understand, she lost both of her parents and I do sympathize with that. I lost my mother and when I, when I lost my mother, I realized one thing. When you lose a parent, you could be highly susceptible to people around you that are, that are giving you parental guidance or things that fa feel like parental guidance to believe in that it is parental guidance and you go with it. That's happened to me. I've, I've been at that place where I've listened to a lot of people that led me down the wrong road because it felt like parental guidance that I should have been getting from my mother or my father that at that time wasn't around or whatever the case is. So, so now it gets to this point now, whatever the case is, boom, she, 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 she comes out and she goes, listen, you guys, and you know, all this extra shit, this nigga keep talking about me. And I'm in the back, I'm, I'm over here watching this, like, yo, what did I say? I didn't say nothing, I said nothing to you, but it's nothing. Th this nigga keep talking about me, bro. And so you know what? Now we just gonna do it. This nigga Tori shot me, bro. This nigga shot me, he shot me. She gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it. This nigga shot me. She starts breaking down the story. And I want y'all to pay close attention to how she breaks down this story, okay? Really pay close attention. 
she breaks down the story and she says, yo, I'm arguing. I'm in the car. I'm arguing with this nigga. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. We get into a heated argument. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. I get out the car. This nigga get out the car, out the car, and he starts shooting me. For no reason, he starts shooting me. So boom, then the cops pull us over and da 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 da. Hold on, let's take let's take the first facts back to what she just said. So you mean to tell me that you're in a car with a person, and this person is arguing with you? This person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even want to be around you. Like I'm above this, I'm out of here. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated, and then this person gets out and shoots you in both of your feet, and you jump back in the car. Why, why would you jump back in the car with a dangerous man who just did a dangerous crime to you, who did this criminal intent to you, and all this, all this, wh why? Why are you, why would you jump back in the car? Well, yo, then the police pull us over, and I see, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm, we're, we're all black in the car, there's a gun in the car, so I don't even want to, I don't even want to be, like, you know what I'm saying, I don't want nobody to get in more trouble, and I'm trying to protect this man. I'm trying to protect this man because at the end of the day, it's niggas getting shot out here, she then throws the black card at me. I'm trying to protect this black man. My love, nobody ever reported that you got shot but you. So why are you, how were you trying to protect me? At what point were you trying to protect me? At what point? Like, you know I got a child. You know that these type of situations, even an accusation, is something that I can't even be playing with. I don't even play with my life like that. So why would that, like, I, that to me just doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. Yo, I lied to the cops, I lied to the doctors. Let me tell you why they saying there's glass in my feet though. Because I lied to the cops, I lied to the doctors, I lied to this, that, and the third. Ladies and gentlemen, I need us to really understand what she's saying here. You mean to tell me that these medical doctors that are in a ambulance that work on on-site injuries 24-7, for, for all day, they have to know every type of on-site injury, the specifications on the type of on-site injuries, so they, can, so they can treat it right. You mean to tell me you lied to these people and they just treated you for glass when you had a bullet in you? If that's what you're saying, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say they were dumb. You mean to tell me that the cops who were called for a gunshot in a Suburban or whatever the car was, found that same Suburban and found a gun in it, see you leaking and didn't check you for bullet wounds? I'll give you the benefit of doubt and say they were dumb. You then further said, yo, I'm at a cotton mouth like a motherfucker smoking on this. <laughs> you then say, you then say, oh, well, I was trying to protect this black man, so I never said nothing. I was, I didn't want them to shoot me. I didn't want them to kill me. Okay, but when me and Kelsey and Quan were over there being questioned, you were in a stretcher. No one is going to shoot you in a stretcher. You had plenty of time to tell the cops that you were in danger. You had plenty of time. I'm not protecting somebody who just heinously shot me after a conversation that we just had. I'm not, my mind is not on protecting you. I'm bleeding from my feet. I'm thinking about protecting my own life and I'm in danger. Why would you not say that with two feet bleeding from two bullet holes? What, from what you're saying? I, I don't understand that. And then there's this whole narrative of, you know, like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to put this black man on a, on, on, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get him in trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm protecting this man and he keeps talking. And so now, you know, he keeps getting his, his media team to start doing certain things to make me look incredible and to smear me. And to make him look good and to make it look like I'm like, hold on, ladies and gentlemen, have I been around in the last three months? Saying anything? Have you seen in the last three months one article that made me look good during this? One? Have you seen it? You haven't seen it nowhere. Because at the end of the day, my PR team is not out here playing with my jeopardy of my life and freedom. Y'all are doing this for the internet. This is my life. I'm the only person with the case. So at the end of the day, when you sit here, y'all, 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 my son, even if I know, regardless of what I know, it will come to light and the, the truth will come to light. And no issue with that. I have no issue with that. But I need y'all to understand, like, I'm a human being, bro. Like, this shit hurts, bro. Seeing my friends, people that I had on quarantine radio, be people that were just like, 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 
my real, like, at least people I thought were my friends, like, people I thought were, like, cool people, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, everybody just shunned me. I showed everybody love at the top of the year. Everybody was on quarantine radio, hee hee, ha ha ha. And the second y'all have an accusation, not even evidence, niggas just come bash me, I'm somebody who just, I, I don't get a say, then I understand. Sometimes the way I move is unconventional, you know? And I can... Well. Totally different story. Totally different version from what Nick came up with. And it, I have to agree with him. He him point. But at the end of the day, I am no judge. I'm no in a minute. Judge. I'm at the mall out of business. I need a... Let section. I mean, me know what you guys think about this whole debate. Do you really think that he really did it? Or the fact that he took him so quiet so long make him look guilty? I don't know. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.